What's up? It's real lag game, boy. Ta da! What's up? It's real lag game, and y'all already know who it is. And yes, I got a bunker. That's right, I do have a bunker now. I went on ahead and got the cheapest bunker that you could get because I've been burned many a times by, you know, clubhouses that I did not like, you know, warehouses that I did not like. So I got the cheapest one and it's really nothing wrong with that. So not only did I get the cheapest one, I did not get the shooting range yet and i did uh opt for the regular transportation and i'm gonna tell you why the caddies aren't that expensive but at the same time if we simply reenact the cutscene, we will see why the cheaper one or the free one or whatever it costs 85 grand or something like that is better than the actual one that you pay more for now i do not have a shooting range but the shooting range will be right there so just kind of use your imagination now Give me a sec. <sighs> Should have just reversed. Not gonna miss these corridors. Okay, here we go. This thing is a lot easier since it's compact, a little more compact than the rest. This thing is easier to control and turn around inside of this building, you know what I'm saying? Or inside of this bunker or whatever. Now, not saying that anybody, you know, can't maneuver that big one correctly because he probably just a bad driver but i mean for free you get a more compact one that can get between these tight gaps and really buying uh you know the bigger one really doesn't help you out at all in this bunker and really doesn't provide anything extra so if you want to save money and you're tight on money don't be ashamed bro get the cheaper one because it's actually better in my opinion now also in defense of people saving that money spending cheap don't feel bad because your friends like Oh, you got the most expensive thing or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Look, I got this truck. The most cheapest truck I can get. And what do you mean by that? Well, I didn't get the, you know, the other one. The one that's all armored up, the whatever it's called. I forgot, man. All the custom. That's what it's called. But if you're trying to save on that money, do not feel ashamed of getting the Phantom Custom. Now, your friends or somebody probably talking all that trash about how they got, you know, the armored one or whatever. But check this out. Every time you see an armored one, let them know that they are stupid for buying it now hopefully if you're watching this video first do not buy the hauler custom now you may the only thing it helps you with is like probably harder to get shot you know what i'm saying but really somebody's just gonna blow this thing up and yes it can blow up kind of like a uh it's kind of like a tank slash a surgeon but it can be destroyed because i have done it already but when you see somebody with this just shake your head because this is why man as you can see this big baby is the one that is running baby you know what i'm saying for the cheaper price more engine i mean look at this thing look at that the engine is not playing around you know what i'm saying so this is better if you're looking for the speed all right so let's take a look inside what i got going on in here now if you want to stay tuned for that what's up chief what's up what's up what's up all right so as you see i did go with the black interior with the blue because of course as you can see by everything i wear in all my cars blue is my favorite color but i did go with the black with the blue interior this is the weapon and um vehicle warehouse or storage or whatever so as far as everything i got as you see i got the phantom custom here and bay one i just simply put living quarters because i really don't see this thing as of right now i'm i can go back and change it of course but i do not see this thing as of right now just being myself you know as a, a tank all right you know you can add guns to it and stuff like that but when i'm driving this thing i don't really want to be worried about jets because jets can still come down swoop you up real quick before that gun can even let off on that jet you know what i'm saying so i would choose living quarters because you could go in pass mode or i assume that you can because if you could if you choose command center it says please note passive mode is disabled no defense is better than passive mode on this if you're just trying to chill and drive your truck man this thing is not finna run away from a jet it's not finna run away from super sticky bombs and stuff like that now if you have partners and stuff and crime that you always play with i would choose the command center but i mostly play solo sometimes and i'm pretty much when i'm in this thing i just want to chill i don't want to be ready to fight all the time just think if your 
um, yacht didn't have some kind of defense and you just trying to chill in the hot tub and keep getting shot. I look at this thing as a freaking yacht. I just want to go in there, chill, enjoy the beauty and stuff like that. At least for right now. Until I unlock some more weapons used in that research, I may change it to a gun. Remember, you can go back and change that stuff. Second part I got going on is the weapon and vehicle workshop. Let's go ahead and get both of those in one. It will take up bay three, but you might as well just have both of them in one so you can access the weapons and everything like that. I just like it just being the one thing, you know, it's more room. Also, it does cost more money for the um, black, but I went with black and the blue if you like what's going on in my, whatchamacallit. Now, I think this was like 2.4 million or, or probably less than that, really, because I didn't pay extra for the truck. So, uh, probably 1.4, I don't know. But yeah, that's what I got going on here if you want to go ahead and copy that or you like the way this stuff looks. But let's go ahead into the living quarters, man. So this is the living quarters with the blue. Of course, we got the screens here and the black, everything like that. I know a lot of people probably going with white, but I'm liking this. I'm liking this, you know. And a lot of people like black and red. I was almost about to do it. Black and red is a good combination, so keep that in mind, man. But I just like blue. I just wanted to see what the blue looks like. You know what I'm saying? So this this works out perfectly for me. Like I said, I didn't get the guns on here because I'm pretty much just using this to get the weapons and stuff like that. And you're probably like, what you mean the weapons? Well, you probably know by now, but this truck, when you choose this or whatnot, has upgradable weapons that you can get and that's uh, really the only reason i wanted this thing but so i can have access to that now it is expensive but they do have some crazy designs as i already kind of had some crazy designs going on with my weapons you know what i'm saying but this thing can take stuff to a whole nother level now if i go down down to my, like my heavy sniper everybody's probably going to ammunition like i was i ain't even lying with the ammunition looking for these weapons but they're not there because they are on this truck which is kind of shady for rockstar to make you have to buy this thing just to you know access this but let's click on the heavy sniper we're gonna go ahead and upgrade it and see what happens now look at that that's a hundred and sixty five thousand dollars just for an upgrade to a gun but let's go ahead and so eyes, there you go it's just kind of look like it's shortened up minute. or whatnot and you probably don't like this design or you probably do like this design but the main thing about it is you can add different kind of rounds armor piercing full metal jacket explosive rounds is exactly what i'm going for now this will make it extremely op think about it bro you can be able to snipe somebody with explosive rounds you can snipe a jet out the sky with explosive rounds you know what i'm saying this will be op op og or at least i think so until i get my hands on it from doing this research and these bunker missions i will uh tr probably try to test that later on but i think it will be so op and be able to be able to snipe a uh, hydra out the sky with explosive rounds you know what i mean but it doesn't stop there do have them scopes that you was looking for now there is a night vision and a thermal scope that you can use now it has a lot of customization man you can put muzzles suppressors muscle brakes and stuff like that all over this gun so it is crazy you can actually add liveries to your gun check it out you can it's pretty much like a lowriders custom shop for your weapons this is what this truck is man ammo types cannot be carried over to stock weapons so make sure you do not click on this button all right so you may go back to the original weapon and then have to pay another hundred and something thousand just to get it back custom so be careful don't just go through clicking i'm trying to save y'all some money it's just a word from the rise all right now i also want to give one more warning to uh, everybody that's uh, trying to get this dlc buying stuff and so you won't make a mistake so far that i have made you know what i'm saying like i said before do not worry about buying the cheapest stuff man it, it's so far it seems to be working out all right as you've seen the truck the cheapest truck is actually the better truck at least in some very limited testing also do not change your freaking weapon um your combat mg i changed that do not change it from extended mags to trace around because when i change the trace rounds now keep in mind i had max ammo all right I had 9,000 something rounds. When I changed it to the tracer rounds, it changed to just 100 bullets. It didn't even carry over my my bullets. So be careful about that, man. If you got 9,000 rounds, you stay with max ammo. Be careful with tracer rounds because, I, you know, it's, it's just going to take away all of your freaking ammo. So I got zero 100 bullets. And just to prove it, I know you probably can't see it because of my logo, but 
I'm gonna shoot all 100 tracer rounds just to see what tracer rounds is, but that's every. It takes all my ammo, and it, it's just that's just crazy, man. This is crazy, man. Why you do that, man? So okay, okay. Now it did give me a description, but I wanted to see for myself. It says it matches the tint of the gun, so it's not nothing that's exploding or nothing. It just shoot out every so often blue. You see that? That's not worth losing your 9,000 rounds. You see that blue right there? That's not worth losing 9,000 rounds over, man. So be careful with the tracer rounds. It's not worth it. Save your money. Save your money, man. Now, it does still kill. Got the new sniper. That is correct. I did shoot eight shots. The extended clip really gives you only about two more bullets in your um in your sniper rifle, but two more bullets if you're a killer, you know, can save your life. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, be careful about this gun, the combat MG or whatever Mark II. Do not change it to tracer rounds unless you just really don't have any ammo and you like what you've seen there. But if you got a lot of ammo, you're gonna end up with zero. Look. That's it. I lost all 9,000 rounds, so that's dirty, Rockstar. You should warn somebody on that little screen that you would lose all ammo if you do that. And it's been real late, gamer. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm out.